Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And with the craziness in the weather and the grid instability, there's probably a lot of you who have some solutions, you know, to keep your phone charged or, you know, to power up some small products. Um, but it's probably time to level up your game. Um, I've got relatives from Maine to, uh, to Florida to Texas to California who have all experienced not only power outages, but significant power outages. Um, in fact, a relative down in Texas uh, was out of power for about three and a half days, and uh, she counted herself lucky because she got her power back then. It still went on. Um, what happens in that amount of time? Well, it was an ice storm, so everything got really cold. Pipes froze. Um, of course, a refrigerator, things like that. Um, wasn't cold enough like in Montana to keep things uh, frozen, but it did turn out to be a very expensive and, and kind of, for her, scary uh, time because she lost power after her phone banks like this, you know, stopped working. You know, she was out. She couldn't drive. She couldn't go anywhere because uh, there were trees down all over the place. Uh, plus, it was sheet ice everywhere. She was using her car to charge her phone, but then data wasn't working. You know, the cell was was uh, too limited, so she couldn't get um, any uh, news outside the radio. And she had a couple of solutions. Um, but let's take this uh, one more level. Now, we all probably have things to keep our, our phones charged. Um, if you're like me, you know, when you were into the tool batteries, you might have upgraded in, in order to be able to output a USB charge um, from your tool batteries or maybe even an AC. These are becoming more popular, having some sort of an inverter. In fact, uh, Ego makes one that I'll probably end up getting because I've got a few Ego batteries and it'd be good to be able to pull that off. Uh, maybe you jumped up to, you know, these power banks. These power banks are great. Uh, they do have a lot of capability, but they are short-lived, and you can't run bigger items like refrigerators off of them. Um, and maybe even jumped up to a generator. I've got a bigger one than that, but I can't e easily move it around. Um, it's great, but as you know, it takes gas. They're noisy. They have to be outside, um, and they are somewhat limited in, in the amount of output that they have. I mean, you really have to get a pretty big one to run a larger larger object, but this will that'll pump a refrigerator for a while. Um, and I've also got a handful of of different batteries um, that I use for uh, RVs and trailers and stuff that I can pull out and then adapt. But there is a great solution. Um, and I, I did my homework on this one. Uh, here it is. Ta-da! What is it? It is the, the Van Van Powers Super Power Pro 1500. This is a um, a lithium iron phosphate battery, 2,000 watts, 3,000 watts um, of instantaneous startup. Um, it's a pure sine wave AC output. Uh, it's got four uh, USB USB Cs, including two 100 watt ones and uh, two 20 watt ones. Um, if you look, we've also got three. Uh, 12 volt DC barrel connectors for the 5521 plugs. Um, it, anyway, there, there's a million features of this. I'm going to go over a few of them. Um, so let me declutter this for a second. So I've got the van powers plugged in to my Craftsman 3 horsepower 15 gallon air compressor here. Um, I'm going to turn it on fires up there. Once it's on, you can choose which setting you want. I've got the AC. I'm going to turn on here. Signal there. Once it's on, it's ready to go. Here's the air compressor. I think you get the idea. But anyway, Let's move in and take inside and take a closer look at some of the other features. So let's take a quick tour around this guy. Um, first of all, it's a lithium iron phosphate battery. This has about 6,000 cycles. At least that's what they say before it drops to about 60% of its total capacity. Um, and the LifePo batteries are much safer than the standard lithium ion. They don't, they're not explosive. They generally um, are hard to catch, up, catch on fire. They last a lot longer. Um, this has six 
AC outlets here. You can use all six of them if you want. Notice that they're rotated in different um, different directions. So if you have power bricks or something, you can find the one you want. It's got the, a 12 volt kind of a, a cigarette lighter power port down at the bottom. Um, pull on handle up here. In fact, I like this. They put a kind of a dampener in it for what that's worth. That's kind of neat. Um, it weighs about 41 and a half pounds, which is pretty heavy. It's a little bit lighter than a you know, my Honda generator. Um, but it also has a uh, handle here. So if you want to uh, roll it around, it's pretty easy to just extend that out just like luggage and then roll it, move it around. This side here for the inputs, we have got uh, the standard 120 volt um, to um, 100, 100 to 120 volt uh, AC, and this really charges it fast. I mean, that's one of the shocking things. Li LiPo batteries really can charge quickly. Um, you have a ground here, and you've got the ability to attach uh, solar directly into this thing as, as well. Um, so, what do we have on the front end? All right, so let's take a closer look at the operation of this thing. Um, I've got it in the back of a pickup to try to cut down on the glare, so hopefully you can see uh, what's going on. Turn on the power button, and it's going to kick in the, the main screen here. Now, this has a lot of the controls, but there's like a million more that you actually operate off your phone um, using the app. Um, if I want AC, I can turn that on, and then it sets up the plugs on the side that you've already seen. And for example, I can turn on a drill. Here's my old DeWalt drill. So what it's doing, it'll tell me the number of watts used. It's going to give me the runtime if I'm using that exact number of watts. Um, and it tells me the hertz that uh, the electricity is running on. It also has um, the, the big screen there is giving me the overall health of the unit. So so that alone didn't, didn't even decrease it a percentage. Um, other things, if I want to run uh, USB, I can, you know, like I want to charge up my iPod here. Um, I can just plug, well, Actually, I can't. I have to use an adapter, and that's one of the few complaints I've heard about this, is you've got to go to USB-C. Imagine, it's going to force me kicking and screaming into the 21st century, but oh well. So now it's charging up that. If I want to monitor it, you know, my iPod here is drawing 2 watts um, through the USB there. Um, I've got the the uh, solar connections here, I'll set that up in a moment. Um, but also I want to go in and um, I'll turn on the app here and show you a couple of other things this can do. To do that, um, I am going to push the reset button here. Okay, you can see that my Wi-Fi is blinking. So this actually does have um, a 4G network connection in it. And what's weird about that, it also has GPS, so I can locate the thing if it, you know, say happens to be stolen. Um, I'm connecting up my app here. So there's my app. Let me show you that up close. You can see that. Uh, it might be too close. I'm using a different lens here. So there it is. I can choose different ambient colors. It's giving me, uh, here's the temperature right now, 14 degrees cell, Celsius. Um, I can control different things, and it's got the uh, same mirrored screen. Um, I can set up things to have it um, turn on and off to, if it's charging something or running, I can spread that out over time. It doesn't have to be the full power. There's um, I, just a, an amazing number of different things that I can do with this. Um, notice I just turned on a, a green light on the bottom. Um, I can actually control that through the app, kind of a nice little ambient thing, or run it there. Um, and 
Let's get the solar set up so you can see that part of this. So here is the four panel folding 200 watt solar system that you could get to work with this. Simply just plugs in, um, plenty of cables come with the, uh, the unit. And then once you're plugged into the side, it'll charge depending on the, uh, the wattage. This is, these are rated at up to 200. Of course, you're not gonna probably get that much. But in fact, um, if you're trying to go off grid, uh, it's a huge benefit. So there it is, the VanPower SuperPower Pro 1500. Just with the uh, app alone, the ecosystem, the GPS, the 4G, the, um, the Wi-Fi, you know, it's 802.11, the ability to update firmware, um, run it off the app, the sheer power of it, the safety of it. I mean, when you're worried about any instability in the grid, the power sources, you want to go off um, off grid, you want to go overlanding, camping, or just use an uninterrupted power supply where you can plug your computer or any sensitive device into one end, plug this thing into the wall, and then if the power goes out uh, or there's you know some browning or it's uh, you know noisy or something, this will smooth it out so your sensitive device computer on the other end will never know the difference. If power goes out, this thing will just keep right on uh, firing up your your tools, and then of course. It's great peace of mind. Right now it's sunny, it's starting to warm up. We've had some bad weather since I got this, really kind of make, made me think about it, uh, especially what's going on around the country. This is the time to, to plan and prepare. And with that, Doc out.